Hello and welcome back to Mechanically Minded. Today we're going to do something slightly different. I want to make this stereo, these speakers, and a solar panel. So what I want to do is, in my workshop, I don't currently have a stereo, and being eco-minded, I thought that why not reuse some of the stuff that I have. So I have an old... Kenwood, uh, yeah, Kenwood stereo. These speakers are out of a TV. Um, somebody was chucking away a TV with a smash screen. I took all the boards out of it and the speakers. The boards are currently on eBay, and the boards, believe it or not, are about eighty pounds each, if they sell, of course. Um, but so yeah, I'm going to reuse these speakers on my stereo, and also. I have a 12 volt solar panel with some lithium batteries. Um, it is 80 watt. You're looking 90% efficiency, so you're looking somewhere at around the uh, 65, 70 watt, 70, something like that, 76 watts of power. They should be able to create for you. But remember that um, very much depends on the external conditions. So. As you can see here, I've already started to uh, stick some more plugs on, just because it, it makes it slightly easier. And you get these little plugs, and I don't know if you can see, but it's got two sets of lugs on it. You bend over these lugs and these lugs on the wire, and it stops it from coming loose. Now you could just go and solder it on. Um, I don't want to do that because of... I want to be able to detach it and reattach it as easily as I can. Now as you can see I did pre-do some of these just because it's a lot easier for me to do it without the camera than it is with. So bend it down, bend the other ones down to secure the cable. That's that. Also I have this big lithium ion battery this is a 40 amp hour battery well it was when it was new um, it probably isn't now I got the four of those out of a electric scooter that I bought off of eBay for a hundred pounds I bought two electric scooters for a hundred pound one of the things that you've probably seen on my video before is uh, the mobility scooter with a single wheel on the back the wheel off of that, the controller and everything was off of the same scooter. So when I bought it for £100, got four batteries. When they were in good condition, they were worth about £100 each second hand. And then I got the motor and the controller. The controller and the motor off of the other scooter was damaged and I couldn't do anything about it. So anyway, when you uh, wire up a stereo, and get the cables, you have two lives and one earth. So the single earth, um, needs to go into a block and we have already done it on the on the battery so as you can see I have bridged it over and there's two reds and one black so make sure that you when you put them together you get them right so put the plug into the socket sometimes you have to bend the pins up When you're doing this, make sure that you don't short them out. So put them in. Remember, black into black. And then the, the red and yellow, it doesn't matter. If this is going into the stereo, apparently the book states that the yellow is to the battery, the red is to the ignition. So what this means is, um, you can just run this on the ignition wire, but every time you uh, start your stereo up, it's just going to show that um, there's no memory, so it won't remember any of your settings. So as you can see, we have a little bit of power. Right, now we are going to try and attach the cables for the speakers. So as you can see as well, I haven't attached anything on here. 
this is a very handy tool it just removes the outer sheath for the cable you can do it with a pair of pliers this just makes it slightly easier again we need to put on some plugs uh, some metal prongs these are quite fiddly to do but they can be done sorry about the gate banging it's um, wind there's one two Now with these speakers, um, they have two outputs on each speaker, one's for the bass and one is for the standard speaker. What I'm going to try and do is run the bass lines through the uh, rear speakers, because then I can change the fade to change the bass on that signal on the actual uh, stereo, just so that we can get a different tone out of that. It might work, it might not, I might just have to use the, the front speakers, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. All this stuff was going to end up in the bin anyway, so why not make something out of it? And that's, that's really the ethos of this channel. If, um, if you've got some at home, and you're going to chuck it away anyway, why not give it a go and see if you can repair it yourself? Um, you've got to be careful with any electronic devices that you're doing this with because there are capacitors and stuff like that in, in TVs and um, stereos and all that sort of things and they can harm you if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're 100% not confident in doing it, I don't want you to go home and uh, take apart your TV and then get electrocuted. And that, That's not really what this is about. Um, but if it's a case of, say, you've got a strimmer and the, the uh, wire gets pulled out of the back of the strimmer, quite often people are just going to chuck it in the bin. Now, if you take the top half of the strimmer off, you can find that the connections on the back of the strimmer are just plug and play, which means that you've just saved yourself 70, 80 pounds on a strimmer just by uh, cutting the wire that you've already got and re-putting re it on. You might have to buy uh, some clips or some plugs or some connectors but still a connector is probably worth two or three pounds and you're gonna save yourself 50 60 pound so yeah right so this is a good idea to have the manual with this if you can't find the manual for your stereo I guarantee there's gonna be um, somewhere online just type in Kenwood model manual as you can see on this one, it does tell you exactly which colours which, which saves you a lot of time. Now you can go through the stereo settings and fade it all the way to the front right and then plug in your front right speaker into all the different connections and see how it, um, which one works. Or I'm going to use a manual because it's easier. So uh, we are going to break it into two different sections. So I've got two sets of four plugs. So I want to do the rear and the front separately. So first, purple red to purple black is that's blue. There's two purples. So they all have a stripe through them. That one is the negative. That one is the positive. And that is the rear right. So the rear left is the white and white and black. Get in there. You can get these plugs out again if you if you need to. You just got to push that lug there in. So black in first. Wrong way round. And white. So that is the black plug stump. Sometimes they don't go in, and you do have to bend that rear 
uh, lug out just to make sure that it stays in. Another plug. Right, so we are going for grey and grey and black for the front right. So grey, there's grey and black. And obviously it must be green. I don't know what the blue is. It doesn't state at the minute. Anyway, green. So standard green, green and black. So because we don't know uh, which is base and which is not on these, we are going to have to test it. So I am going to get my phone out. Now all we need really is some static, so we'll get the static on, increase it. So the grey and black were front. So all we're going to do is to figure out which one is which. Plug them in. So on this, the uh, brown one is the brown one is a base. So we'll go black into black. That sounds better. Black goes into black. Right, now the other one. Then we're going to do the same for the rear. There is one thing that you do have to remember with this setup especially is these speakers are 15 watt, this will output 40 watt, so you don't want to be turning it up too much because you'll end up blowing the speaker. Right, now we have to figure out some sort of aerial because I don't have one. See if we can just pick up something with one of these. start of the pandemic sure. because we didn't know how it was all going to run out so i think that was what triggered it and so these are a couple of teachers and someone who runs a deli 
but they meet religiously every five years on Holy Island, which is the tidal island of Northumberland. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to stop um, you there. Near because... where I live. So anyway, we'll make a better aerial uh, in the end, but you can turn it off. Let me set it off. Can turn it back on again, and it saves all of your um, savings because of because you put the other red in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will um, just take you over and show you the solar panel setup. So this system here uh, produces uh, 20, 24 volts ish, and it pulls in at the minute it's pulling in 34 watt but that very much depends on how much power this is requiring because I turned it off but you turn it on and then it will start draining the battery also it's got a cut off system on there so that it can um, detect what voltage you're at when it gets low it will turn it off and when it gets high it can turn it on this system is the system that I'm going to wire the stereo into. This one is a 24 volt system. Again, it turns on and off with um, high voltage and low voltage. So at the minute I've got this one and this one running on the 24 and this one running on the 12. As you can see here, there is a solenoid. Oh, can you see it? Here there is a solenoid and what that does is this system can only take 30 uh, amps. So I've put it through the solenoid, put the wires through, and then this can supply up to 60 amps to um, whatever device I want to power. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you've learned something and hopefully you're going to try something like this at home. Uh, please comment below if you've got any questions or please comment below if you've got any um, suggestions for later videos. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all of my latest content. But as always, 